Like many neutrals, Finland has to put a lot of effort into making its territory safe. The Finns have universal conscription, and they could mobilize 600,000 soldiers out of a population of only 5 million people. There's only one little catch to Finland's neutrality. Something called the Finnish-Soviet Treaty of Friendship, Mutual Cooperation and Assistance. The treaty stipulates that if there is an attack on Finland or on the Soviet Union through Finnish territory, Finland will uh, uh, defend uh, itself. And uh, <coughs> by giving this assurance to the Soviet Union, uh, we uh, make it clear in advance how Finland will behave. Finland has promised Moscow that it will resist any Western attempt to get at the Russians across Finnish territory. If they can't stop NATO's forces themselves, according to the treaty, then they'll ask the Russians in to help. But only then. The treaty does mean that the Finns could well end up fighting Americans. It's the price they have to pay for keeping the Russians off their backs. Do they know who they might have to fight? Yeah, nowadays I, I'm pretty sure they do. Yeah. Doesn't bother them? No. No at all. Canadians are just as practical as the Finns. We live next to the Americans, so we've agreed to fight the Russians. Yeah. Pundits in the West often talk loosely about Finlandization. It's a sort of code word for becoming too subservient to the wishes of your local superpower. But in that case, maybe the word should really be Canadianization, because we Canadians cooperate far more closely with the Americans than the Finns do with the Soviet Union. I know there's a difference. We climb into bed with the Americans because it was comfortable and because we're so much alike. Whereas the Finns keep as distant as they can from the Russians because there's a huge gulf between their political and social systems and their whole outlook on the world. The Finns have managed to move a few steps away from the alliance game in peacetime, but they couldn't refuse the Russians their cooperation in wartime. And like the Finns, we Canadians can do nothing about our situation in wartime. The Americans would get our cooperation one way or another. We go further than that and belong to America's alliances in peacetime. <laughs> 